Rafa, congratulations. Another Miami quarterfinal race. I guess the key out there today was patience because he was so solid, Nicholas, there today, wasn't he? Yeah, I was, um, well, it was so important for me to be very, very solid with myself. And then um, I think I had much more opportunities than him on the return. No? So that's uh, always a, a positive thing and uh, encourage you during the match that you are in a little bit better position than, than your opponent. No? But um yeah it was a tough one and uh, the match uh, when you play uh, against a player like him uh, sometimes the match decides uh, deciding in a few points so important thing is i was ready for that point today i mean nicholas is obviously such a fantastic run for him he's known more as a doubles player i wonder are there any aspects of his game where you can sort of feel that his sort of maybe reaction time at the net his sort of doubles um, well he's so quick on the net no he has a great uh great control on the volley no uh, Forehand, backhand, uh, volley are fantastic, no. And then he's able to 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 play aggressive from the baseline. He knows uh, how to play tennis. Uh, he changed the uh, the rhythm with the with the slice. Uh, he's going to the net quick. So I think he's a very complete player, and he's a beautiful player to see him play. Uh, Jack Stock awaits in the quarterfinals. You played him twice before, beaten him twice. But how impressed have you been with his performances, not only this week, but last week, of course, in Indian Wells as well? Well, he's playing great this week, last week, uh, during the whole year, I think. No? He won in, I think, a few weeks ago in Delray Beach. Uh, he, he's a top player, no? and um, I need to, to play at my highest level and play aggressive if I want to have chances, and I, I'm going to try that.